I never realized that I really got this fat, and I really thought it was a fucking joke. But when I sat on Captain's fucking couch, and I looked at my at the stream, and I saw how fucking big I was, I was like, dude. I was like, dude. I was like, I feel like I'm living in this world where I'm existing every day, but it's like, as you go on day by day, you hope for a different outcome. Like maybe finding somebody you can have a family with, you can have a family with, somebody you can actually settle down with, go on dates with, but well, it's like, that tomorrow never comes. Pretty sad, dude. I feel like sometimes I'm just gonna fucking die alone. It's like my biggest fucking hate ever. I'm not gonna be a father, I'm not gonna be able to be a husband. That really kinda sucks sometimes, man. What keeps me from having that? Um, I'm so fat that it sucks. I wanna stop it so much. You guys so fat that it sucks. I wanna stop it so much. So fat that it sucks. I wanna stop it so much. You guys so fat that it sucks. I've lived my life alone so fucking long. Like ever since I was a little kid, my mom. But the, the thing for me is, dude, that I had to go off stealing from stores to get food. She didn't mention me ever since I was eight years old. And I had to go off stealing from stores to get food. The thing for me is, dude, that I had to go off stealing from stores to get food. At the same time, as much as it sucks, I take responsibility for it, dude. You know, I can't blame anybody but myself for allowing myself to, you know, indulge myself in fucking crazy big ass meals. Crazy big ass meals. Crazy big ass meals. Crazy big ass meals. And it's like 400 pounds. 400 fucking pounds. Dude. Dude. 400 fucking pounds is nothing that you should accept. The thing that's completely opposite of what reality should be. Opposite of what reality should be. Opposite of what. Opposite of what reality should be. I barely get text messages. 400 pounds. Nobody calls me. 400 fucking pounds. My phone says fucking re all day. 400 pounds. There's more I want to say, but I feel like it's just pointless to say, say, pointless to say. I feel like sometimes I'm just gonna fucking die alone. It's like my biggest fucking hate ever. Be an OG user of life. Gonna be an OG user of life. I'm not gonna be a father. I'm not gonna be able to be a husband. That really kind of sucks sometimes, man. What keeps me from having that? I can explain. I'm so fat that it sucks. I want to stop it so much. You guys so fat that it sucks. I want to stop it so much. I'm so fat that it sucks. I want to stop it so much. You guys so fat that it sucks. And it's like, I've lived my life alone so fucking long. Like ever since I was a little kid, my mom. But the, the thing for me is, dude, that I had to go off to from stores to get food. She didn't mention me ever since I was eight years old. And I had to go off stealing from stores to get food. The, the, the thing for me is, dude, that I had to go off stealing from stores to get food. Everybody that quote unquote tried to help me, they didn't really try to help me. A lot of people have this, they have a hidden intent. Hidden intent. They have a hidden intent. At the end of the day, they have a hidden intent. I feel like sometimes I'm just gonna fucking die alone. It's like my biggest fucking hate ever. Be an OG user of life. It's gonna be an OG user of life. Sometimes I sit back and contemplate my life and like, kinda suck sometimes, man. It's gonna be an OG user of life. OG user of life.